just a bit pretty mundane and unimaginative title. Christmas in Love is a pretty delightful film. This was released in 2018, directed by Don McBrady, written by Bob Seams and Stephen A. Stewart, and stars one of my favourite Hallmark actors, Brooke Dorsey. And the description from IMDb sums this up pretty well, and I think you'll realise pretty quickly it's a classic Hallmark Christmas film. Ellie Hartman, an, ins- an aspiring crafter working in her small town bakery, shows Nick Carlington, the new big city CEO, during his visit to the bakery's main floor, that it's people and not machines that make the business a success. I kind of stammered my way through that. That definitely needs a proofread. The grammar is appalling. Moving on to the actual narrative itself. Ellie works in this bakery, but she also makes her own wreaths at Christmas time. Nick comes along and is kind of evaluating the situation to see if it's worth installing machines to make the Kringles rather than, you know, having X amount of employees to do it every year. Ellie goes out of her way to try and convince Nick that that's not the right way forward. And she's not always aware of his intentions either, so sometimes she is just bigging up the bakery and the staff out of the goodness of her own heart, which I think is really lovely. And the backdrop of this, of course, is their growing friendship that may turn into something more important. Will she find out his true intentions? Will they be together by the end of the film? This is a Hallmark Christmas film. I'm not going to provide any answers to any of those questions, but I will just say it's predictable, but comfortably so. I like a predictable Hallmark Christmas film. Pretty much everybody watches these films to relax. Nobody is watching a Hallmark film for the drama, unless it's a Hallmark drama, of course. But a Hallmark Christmas film is meant to be sweet, festive, merry, and warm. And this ticks all of those boxes. It definitely is very festive. We have beautiful Christmas lights, Christmas trees, snowy scenes. The costumes are all very festive colours. Obviously, with the bakery being famous for its Kringles, um, I, ha- I still don't know what a Kringle is. Um, I've Googled it. I've never had a Kringle. I would quite like to try it. It's a Danish pastry, I believe. If you've had a Kringle, let me know. Let me know what you think of it, um, or what it's like. But the film itself is very sweet. It's quite interesting that it includes both the bakery and the crafting. So the Kringles and then the wreaths. Usually, a Christmas film like this would focus on one or the other. Was it ambitious to incorporate both? Yes. Did it work? Yes. I have no problems with this at all, apart from maybe the title. Um, Some Hallmark films have got really great titles, and some, I think, they just plucked some words out of a hat and hoped for the best. That's one of them. But that aside, I think Brooke Dorsey gives a brilliant performance. Ellie is a really likeable protagonist. Nick is our antagonist, love interest, and also protagonist. I think he's great. Not my favourite, but Daniel Lissing is brilliant. On screen, the chemistry is great. Ultimately, Christmas in Love is not one that I can fault. 